Well, good afternoon. It's Margaret again, and uh, I'm trying to problem solve this afternoon. And uh, this uh, Rinko Stylus Gigantica Peach. This I had this in June 19, and I attached it um, to this branch here in uh, February, so not long ago. And it's been doing fine, but, there's always a but, the only way I could water it is by tilting it and putting it in this trough of water. And I've been, as I've been going into the grow room regularly, I keep thinking there's a smell somewhere and I can't fathom out where the smell comes from. Now it's, this one's got feeding, but sometimes it's just clear water. And, and I'm thinking, I'm wondering whether it's this water. Now, the only reason I'm wanting to do something about it today is really exciting news. Is this Gigantica peach. Look. It's breaking a new root. Now, you see, that's got the green growing tip. And now that's breaking a new root. And when I've got it in that uh, container of water, it can only go into water that distance. You can see the difference in colour. And this leaf is always in the water. And as it presses against the floor, it's cracking this leaf. And this base, can you see that base there, Luke? It's unstable. So when I got it on that branch, I tried to tie it down but it's still unstable. So there goes my problems. I've got one root, I've got an unstable base and uh, sometimes, and you see that leaf, um, it gets dripped on. So then I thought, well, I went rooting as I do and let me just bring you down a fraction. Okay. So I've got this base here, which, which fits into a number eight uh, shaped uh, pot. In other words, it allows you to um, grow it uh, with a reservoir of water. And, and I thought, well, that'd be fine, because if you look, that goes in there. And can you see where that root is? Just there. I think I grew it in this before. I don't know how I tightened it against there. Maybe I didn't grow it in this one. And uh, and then that root then just fits in that hole. So I thought, oh, that's fine. I can I, I can easily do that. Um, just bear with me a minute. I'm back again now. Somebody wanted to video chat me, but by the time I'd got there, uh, he'd gone off. Right, so, and then I thought to myself just... Um, let's put that over here. Um, I'll grow, I'll put these uh, oh, lacquer beads at the bottom, and then it suddenly dawned on me. Well, these are going to be no good because as soon as I put any water in there, can you see the reservoir? As soon as I put any water in there, these are going to rise. So I'm going to empty these out. Right, I'm back again and. Uh, I emptied uh, what I thought was just um, some horticultural grit, some lecker, and uh, some lava rock, and I noticed there's some uh, le um, some lecker in here, so I don't want that. And then I thought, well, I wonder if I place that on the bottom. See if I place that on the bottom. Can you see? And that's the, the level of water. I might be alright um, placing this directly on the bottom. What I don't want to do is um, have this root continually sat in water. Which it won't be, but I need it to get 
to have access to water. So let's just try again now. I'll tell you this problem solving. Right, okay. So there's that root there. This this root there. And I need to place this one inside here just to keep it stable at the back here. Just hold on. Why doesn't it want to stay stable in there? I'm going to try and see if I can zip tie that one, this root here. Hold on. Right, let's just pull it a bit tight to this one. And at least that one's secure then. Okay, so that's not moving anywhere now. That's made that quite stable. Now I'm just wondering how I can make it stable on this other side. I've got one little root. Can you see that one little root trying to get through there? Right. Hold on again. I do wish I got three hands when I come in to do this process. Right, can you see where I'm trying to... I'm trying to give that a little bit of stability there. And I'm trying to hold it stable in here without actually. You see how you see how uns can you see how unstable it is? That area. What I'm trying to do is push some stones in there to see if I can just stabilise it. Sometimes these these jobs are horrendous. Can you see what I mean? See this this is what I'm up against. Perhaps once I get it in and I put some let me just cut this tail off which isn't going anywhere anyway let me place this in here now Sorry about that, you're probably better coming this way round. Let's bring you... That's better, isn't it? Okay, right. Now... that area now is stable enough okay I need to this side to be weighted down a little bit more let's have a look I 
I'm hoping that this um, aggregate will hold it in place. And then in time I might be able to uh, use a stake to bring that back. There we go, that's better. That's better, I think. Oh, I tell you, I'm sweating crap here. I hate jobs like this. Because really, you have one chance. Because you want to disturb this orchid as little as possible and uh, sorry about that, I wanted just to lift you up and bring you around this other side and then I'm not so bothered if um, a, little, a few little stones get into that area there. I'm more concerned that um, the air has roots. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the, ro <laughs> the root <laughs> has air. Then, and now, when I introduce some of this water, Just have a look. Hmm. Oh dear. Let's have a look. Right. That one still. It must be the way I've got that just tied in. Can you just see? I need it just to pull back. A little bit. Bear with me a minute. So what I've done now is I've um, introduced some of this um, fertilised water and I've tilted that base. Can you see how the base is tilted? And what I've tried to do is I've tried to push some of the uh, larger pieces of lava rock underneath. And uh, there's the, the water level. And if we turn it round now, there's that root with the lovely growing tip. Now I don't mind that coming out this area. And the other newly emerging root has got access to that little channel of water just in there. The other root, part of the root here, gets air to it, but it also sits with the base of where the, uh, the root starts, just in that other little channel. And uh, I think if I check this daily, so at least it's got access to uh, moisture, then it'll be fine. I'm more concerned with the stability of this base here and it's quite stable now and I'm hoping um, you see that's the uh, the root or the velamen's gone uh, that this won't um, cause any rotting but that's all I can do I don't know whether anybody else would have suggested something else but when you've only got one root and you, you're dealing with a plant that's struggled with dehydration and uh, 
the effort it's taken to get this uh, one particular root to grow. Anyway, I can find um, a place upstairs now. I always think when you look at these leaves, you know, as, as though you've broken a piece, but that's just how they grow. Anyway, I'll mark the uh, I'll mark the label now, and uh, hopefully, um, as we come into these uh, warmer months, hoping um, this one will. Um, hopefully produce more than one route but uh, I'll keep you all informed anyway so thank you for joining me and uh, take care enjoy the rest of your week bye bye now